Hey guys, I know this video is just a little bit late, but you know what? It's finally here. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, as you may have seen from the title or the thumbnail or whatever, I'm finally doing my college dorm room decorating slash room tour, I guess. I'm combining it into one video this time. So yeah, if you guys didn't know, I am in college right now. It's my first year and I decided to move into the dorms. So here I am. I actually did film an intro like before I did everything, but I didn't like it. So here I am filming a new one. There you can see I'm already in my new dorm room. The the reason why this video has taken so long is because this isn't the room that I originally moved in as you guys will see in the next few clips but I did move into a room originally but then I requested a room change just for like you know different reasons and then so I had to wait a month to submit that actually and then that got approved within like a week and then I had to move all my stuff from that room to this new room that I'm in right now and then I had to decorate it and then you know I also obviously have a life you know I had schoolwork I had other videos to film and put up and stuff so everything just kind of got in the way but you know what I'm finally here now I finally finished decorating my room I'm finally you know settled in and now here's this video so yeah this video is just gonna be you know me decorating my room kind of like k-pop slash aesthetic style as you guys will see in the video it was pretty difficult because this room is a little bit hard to work with i am in a triple room by myself you know because of covid and all that and there's a lot of furniture and there's just not a lot of wall space and stuff so it's really hard to decorate this room so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed the video anyways and let's just get on with it okay so i'm just gonna do a really quick like overview obviously this isn't gonna be my room anymore so i'm not gonna go too into detail about it but yeah this is like a little overview of my room Today, I'm just gonna spend the rest of the day just basically like packing up my stuff and taking all these decorations down. So yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing for now. Hey guys, it's me again, here with my coffee. Delicious. It's actually two days after that last clip. Moving everything from one room to the next, all by myself, just took up the entire day. I spent like, what, like over five hours, I think, just moving everything and just getting settled, yada yada. So I'm actually settled right now. This is my new room. Yeah, very excited. I definitely like the space a lot more, so that's good. But yeah, I just basically spent the like entirety of yesterday just getting settled in and like putting everything away, cleaning everything. Obviously, again, had to do it by myself, so wasn't easy, but it's done. So yeah, I'll give you guys a quick tour of the space. So yeah, this is what my new space looks like. As you can see, it is a lot more spacious and way better than my previous living situation. We have two bunk beds, so there's like three beds total. And then if you look over here, this is all like the closet slash storage space. So yeah, I have a shit ton of storage. Like you can see like all these shelves are empty because I don't really know what to put in them for now. And I pretty much organized and settled in. Like I said, everything, I did everything yesterday. The only thing I haven't done, which is pretty obvious, 
And the main purpose of this video is decorate. So you can see all these walls are like empty. I literally just put all my decorations like on here. You can see this is all the stuff I'm gonna decorate with. I didn't do anything. I just left it in this mess. And you can see here, I have more of my K-pop stuff here. So yeah, we're just gonna spend the rest of today just decorating. Hello. So it's been, I don't even know how long, maybe like one or two weeks since that last clip. And I decided that I hate everything. I hate the way that I decorated my room. The more I kept looking at it, the more I just thought it was ugly and I'm not satisfied with it at all. So yeah, we're gonna do a remake over, I guess you can say. So this, this entire video is just a mess and I don't even know when this video is gonna come out. So I'm hella bored right now. I literally have just been sitting in my room just doing nothing and so i just decided i want to decorate my room but then in order to decorate my room i need to film it because i'm doing it for a video so here we are so if i don't look camera ready that's why anyways so yeah that's what i'm gonna do right now i'm just gonna redecorate i don't know if i'm gonna finish everything that would be ideal but yeah so basically i'll show you guys the current status so yeah, starting off here, this is where I left off, obviously. Yeah, this is the current state of this wall right here. I literally hate it, so this is gonna <laughs> all be taken down. So all my hard work that I did in my previous clips, gone to waste. But anyways, you can see <laughs> my bed looks a little strange, I guess. Um, yeah, I don't know, like I just, I know I said I took off the mattress because I wanted more light when I'm on my bed, but I decided since I put these star lights up, I kind of want it to be like darker. So instead of putting the mattress back, cause I didn't want to put the mattress back since it would like cover the wall-ish kind of. So I put one of my extra sheets on top right here. Yeah, looks kind of weird. Don't at me. Um, not really much to, you know, the rest of my desk area. It's like pretty much the same. Oh, and also my shelves serve as you can see, I did end up bringing all my photo card binders with me because, you know, for like video and like trading sake. Yeah, there's that and then there's that. And then you can see here, um, do a little zoom in action. I brought a lot more albums. You can see there's like a bunch of albums that I didn't buy. Obviously, I brought them from home because I thought I would use them to like kind of fill up the space and like arrange them, you know. Also, this was also what I was kind of waiting for. So as you can see here, I do have a bunch of like prints. So I kind of wanted to do a collage like wall, you know, like those walls that like, you know, people put like a bunch of prints up and stuff. I kind of wanted to do that originally. And then I decided I was too lazy. And then I decided again that I wanted to do it. So yeah, the theme I was going for was like blue, white, like, cool tone so i printed out just like a bunch of random pictures like aesthetic pictures and like k-pop pictures in two different sizes also um these were a bunch of album covers i printed out like before i moved in and i decided i think i'm gonna like do something i saw on twitter if i can find the picture i'll put it like i put a screenshot up right now i printed these out originally because i wanted to do like a rainbow like rainbow like collage of album art but i scratched that idea so i just had these left over and then i decided i wanted to do it again because i think i wanted to fill this space up like like i said before there's not a lot of wall space to really work with because you know like these windows are taking up a majority of the space which sucks but i decided i think i'm gonna like put the album collage up here which might be a little dumb but so yeah that's kind of the plan so just basically redo this do my shelves, maybe do some other wall decorating. I have no idea what I'm gonna do. I don't really have any plans. So yeah, let's just go ahead and take all this crap down because like I said, I hate it. Okay, so as you can see, everything has been finally removed. So now I think what I'm planning on doing is I'm gonna like separate it now. Like I remember I just treated this as like one giant wall, but I didn't really like that idea. So, and also there's this divider right here. So I thought I would like do something here 
and do something here separately so I think my plan is gonna be I'm gonna make like a collage like down here I don't know if I'm gonna put my Polaroids here I don't know if it's gonna match the vibe but I guess we'll see and then up here I'm just gonna put like bigger posters I'm not exactly sure what yet why is this not focusing but yeah I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep that up either it's just there for now just in case yeah so I'm gonna start down here Okay, so as you can see, I finished. Well, I guess it's not really finished. I just ran out of prints, but I did print out a lot less prints than I thought I did, which kind of sucks because I was kind of hoping to fill up this entire area, but yeah. Um, okay, now that I'm looking at it from far away, I low-key kind of hate it. <laughs> it started off fine. I like started out here as you can, if you guys saw in the clip, obviously I started like here and I was like, oh my gosh, like it's going great. And then as I went this way, I, like the positioning was kind of weird. And I don't know, like some of the edges just look kind of like strange as well. Like I hate how it's like perfectly like straight, you know, like I want it to be kind of like, I don't know, like it's so weird. I'm like just so picky and things don't really go my way, the way I vision. So that this part is like sticking out to me the most and looks kind of weird in my eyes i mean if you guys like it then you guys like it but i'm just not really satisfied with this left part so i think i'm gonna go quickly fix that up okay i went ahead and fixed it a little bit and honestly i do like how i fixed it it looks a little better still not a thousand percent satisfied but you know what <laughs> this is what we had to deal with so yeah so i guess that's what i'm gonna do for that this does look a little empty though so i don't know if i should like put something there like i was kind of thinking of pull it, putting like my polaroid wall like this i'm not entirely sure yet i guess i can try it but and then we'll see but i don't know Okay, so I just finished the Polaroid wall and I actually like it a lot more than I thought I would. I know it's kind of weird to like have just like a random Polaroid wall here and then like have nothing there. Being super honest, I actually do like this a lot more than how it previously was. I'm still not like in love with it and like 100% satisfied with it, but you know what? This is only temporary. I don't know why I'm like overthinking it. So this is it for now. So now I'm gonna work on what's up here. Again, I think I'm just gonna put up just like posters. Okay, so I actually just made the executive decision to move my tapestry from here to here. I don't know, I just felt like here it's just really hidden and kind of strange. And I don't know, I just didn't really feel like putting like a bunch of posters up. I feel like it wouldn't really match the vibe that well. So I just put my tapestry here. I know, first of all, it is not centered at all. I measured it wrong. I'm too lazy to fix it though. So oh, it is kind of bothering me though. You know what? Whatever. It's fine. This is kind of the vibe though. Like again, this, if you just cut that out, it looks kind of vibey. Not gonna lie. I actually like this a lot better. Not my favorite, but yeah whatever i guess i'm just gonna leave that hang edit poster there it just kind of fits well maybe i'm not entirely sure yeah that's it for that i think i'm just gonna move on to my shelf organization now because you know i pretty much have all i need yeah let's fix this mess first <laughs> Okay, sorry, I kind of forgot to film the rest, but I didn't really do that much anyway, so... Yeah, this is just the current state of it now. I didn't do too much, actually. I'm, like, kind of satisfied with these two shelves. I don't know, I feel like I just never can do good enough, and I always, like, shit on myself, like, this sucks, you know? But 
Obviously, I'm just working with what I have. On the top here, you can see it's kind of like a red theme going on. This was unintentional, but I have my L cover and then, not my L cover, Mark's L cover, and then Vernon's like semicolon thing here. I decided not to display all the members that I had. I just wanted to display one, I guess. And then down here, I guess I'm the most proud of this one, you know? It's kind of like a little like black and white aesthetic. And then I just put this director's cut album right here. And then this is like the most beautiful album ever. So I put it on display. Down here is just all my binders. And I bought this little thing. I already said that today, but yeah, it's like a little like protector, I guess. <laughs> this shelf, obviously it's gonna like grow as I buy more albums. These are just the albums that I've bought like while I'm here in my dorm. That bus is not gonna be there like right now. It's just there for now because yeah. And then I just left this the same. I'm gonna fix that in a bit because I'm really not satisfied with that. It looks kind of ugly. But yeah, these are, I think this is gonna be the shelf for now. It's the best I can do, so yeah. Hi. This video at this point is just an entire mess. Like, it's literally a very choppy and inconsistent flow. Editing me is gonna hate editing this video, but I am bored right now, so I thought I would do my... It's time to do my album cover wall thingy. Yay. Oh yeah, I have all my album covers in this envelope along with this one random straddler. But yeah, I'm basically gonna just do that. So obviously I can just take these album covers and just put them up here one by one, but obviously that's kind of dumb. It's gonna take too long. And so basically what I'm planning on doing is I'm gonna grab all my um, album covers. I'm gonna lay them all out on the floor exactly how I would do it on the wall. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna tape all the um, album covers like together on the back. So basically when I'm finished, it's gonna be one giant like album cover, like banner or poster, like a really long rectangular singular piece. So that way it's just like easier to put up, you know, instead of putting things up one by one and then when I move out, I have to take them down one by one. I just put up this giant thing and yeah, so little life hack, but yeah, I'm basically just gonna do that right now. Guys. Tell me why I'm so stupid. I literally taped it in reverse rainbow order. Reverse. Do you see this shit? That means I have to take off everything and restart. Good thing I caught this now. Imagine if I finished the entire thing and I realized that. Ugh. All right, I have officially finished the rainbow album wall collage thingy. So yeah, I really liked how it turned out. I did my best to organize it by like rainbow order. It was kind of difficult, but overall it looks like a nice cohesive like piece. It's all taped together. So it's just like one giant collage. So now hopefully I'm able to put it up there successfully. So let's see how that goes. Okay, and this is the finished product. So this actually was a little difficult to do by myself, like putting up wise. It looks a little crooked, but I mean, you know what? This is pretty good for me putting it up on myself. Yeah, this is how it looks. I mean, it looks pretty cool. It does kind of, you know, resemble <laughs> a rainbow, I guess. That's it for today. And I'll see you guys the next time I decide to do my room. Also, excuse my, how does my hair get like this? Guess who's bored again? Me, me, I'm me, I'm bored, I'm bored again. And shiny, what the hell? How did I get this oily? But yeah, um, it's the next day and honestly, I just wanna get this thing over with already. I've been working on this for way too damn long. So yeah, it's about time I finish what I started ages ago. So today's that day. So in terms of things I need to do, I need to do my desk thing again. I kind of hate it. I also took down this hangout poster here because I thought this album wall art will look better. And then I want to 
put up posters on this area right here. This is like my vanity. I want to like put up posters there, maybe. I don't know, we'll see where things take us, but I'm gonna start off with a desk. You can see here that I did some little decorating. Yeah, this was kind of random, but I think I'm gonna use these like stands to like display them. So just to give you like a little rough idea, kind of something like that. And I don't know, I just thought I would do that. It's really cute. So yeah, let's go ahead and see what I'm gonna do. Hey guys, me again. Um, so basically I wasn't filming rearranging my desk and stuff because I honestly was just doing whatever and I didn't want to be filming the entire time so I just did some stuff off camera, you know? I don't have to film everything, but this is what I have so far right now, I guess. So yeah, this is the desk situation. This was honestly the best I could do. Like I decided to move my clock here because it kept like falling down here. I just put this School Love Affair album just there randomly. <laughs> just to give it some sort of like dimension, I guess. I don't even know. And so yeah, this is what I have so far. Again, not exactly my favorite. I'm not in love with it or anything, but it's what, it's the best that I can do, okay? So if you hate it, I totally understand because I do too. And this is what I did for the second desk. I just made it really simple. Just put like those things there, my pin boards like that. I just left this empty because I didn't know what to do. Those are just dirty dishes. And then there's just those two little Polaroid things. So yeah, this is my desk situation. Again, I know it looks kind of cluttered and random and weird and not ideal and not aesthetic at all, but you know freaking what, it's the best I can do, okay? And I just want to move on. This is the, I'm just, I'm fine with this, okay, at this point. So yeah, anyways, the last step that I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hang some posters right there. That's super simple. And then I actually bought these just to kind of correspond with the little star theme going on. I love stars, as you guys can tell. So basically I bought these like little like star thingies. Like you're supposed to just hang them like vertically or horizontally or whatever. I was about to do vines or like lights or something, but I just thought stars would fit the best. So. I got these like silver stars off Amazon. There's like a bunch of them in here. Okay, they just all fell. <laughs> but I'm planning on just hanging them like this. I like different lengths and stuff. So this area is a little more filled and decorated. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Just those two, I'm pretty sure. And we'll finally be done. This has taken way too long. So let's just get on with it. And now the moment y'all have been waiting for, the dorm tour. Oh my God. Okay, I shouldn't have done that. I actually did film a dorm tour after I finished decorating my room, but at that time I was like really tired and unenergetic and wasn't really in the mood. So guess what? We're refilming the dorm tour right now. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so hello. The dorm tour starts right here. This is my door. There's just some random towel racks. Yeah, this is what you walk into once you enter the dorm. So yes, here's a little overview, I guess. But yeah, starting off right here, this is just where I keep all my bags because I'm a huge bag person. So I have a bunch of them right here. And then we have our first decor item, which is this grid wall <laughs> that I put up here. I'm actually pretty proud of how I set this up. So yeah, you can see it's like a blue theme and then I just have my mask hanging over there. And so yeah, let's just get into the main part of the room, which I guess is the two desks right here. Again, this is a triple, so I do have like three sets of furniture. So I have three beds technically and then three desks all to myself and I use every single one of them. This is what the room looks like. You can see up here I have my album art wall. I think it really does like fill up the space up there really nicely. It looks beautiful. Kind of random but you know what I like it so yeah you can see I'm a huge fan of like lights and stars so you can see I have like 
lights everywhere. I have all my stars on the windows. I have the shaders down right now just for a little privacy. But yeah, first we'll get into this desk. This is what I like to call my working desk, I guess. So this is where I do all my schoolwork, like most of my video editing and stuff like that. So yeah, this is where I do everything. You can see at the top right here, you guys have seen it from earlier, but this is how I decorated my my desk area. I did end up switching out the School of Affair album for the B album, and it looks way nicer. So love that. And then up here, I do have all my like trading stuff. So I bought this like little organizer from a place called Miniso and yeah, I put all my trade stuff there. And then behind it, there's like all my envelopes and top loaders and stuff. I keep all my thank you cards right there. And then we have this calendar covering it up and then my little plushies. And this part is hella messy, but that's where I keep all my chargers. And yeah, so this is the little first section. And then these are what my drawers look like. And I highly recommend getting like desk organizers or drawer organizers. They really do come in handy of keeping your drawers organized. I got these all from Walmart from super cheap. So yeah, it makes the drawers look a lot nicer. So yeah, now we move on to the second desk. And this is what I like to call my dining table slash filming table. Cause this is where I eat all my food if I eat in here and where I film all my videos. All I do is I grab this poster right here and I just lay it out and then there's my lights and then I just film. Yeah, so there's that. I have my pin boards up there. And then I recently got this. I've been having a really bad like gnats problem. It's like a type of fly and they're just everywhere. So I did buy this like gnats catcher. So that's why it's just right there. I would put it on the windowsill, but it's too big. So I just have to put it right there. And then so I put the decorations like down here instead. And then there's my plants. These plants are the reason why I have a bunch of gnats is because I accidentally overwatered them. So they just started growing everywhere, but there's my plants over there. Right here, we have my Keurig, which is an essential. I know it seems hella extra, but I am a huge coffee person. So that's why I wanted to have my own Keurig. So you can see there's all like my K-cups and stuff. And yeah, now I feel like this is another huge college essential, especially if you are living with roommates and that is, a three-tiered rolling cards. This really does come in handy. And I just have a bunch of random stuff right here so you can see that. And then we move on to my third and final desk. This is what I like to call my vanity, I guess. So when I'm getting ready in the morning, after I shower, whatever, you know, I just sit down here and I do all my skincare stuff. I keep like all my toiletries and like my jewelry there. This area isn't really that well decorated. I kind of got lazy, so I just stuck a bunch of posters up there and then this little like string of Polaroids, of memories. So there's that. There's also another 17 poster right there. And this is just a huge drawer for cat for storage, obviously. This actually used to be right here, but I just moved it over here instead because it just fits here better. And then I have my printer for like printing random stuff. And yeah. And then you can see up here, obviously I have another bunk bed. I guess you can call this a loft, I guess. I don't really use this top bunk, but I just recently put like my extra blankets like this cause I might want to turn it into like another, like a chilling area, I guess you may call it. I don't have any extra pillows or anything. I think I want to buy one of those like pillow, like chair thingies, you know what I'm talking about? So I might want to use that for that. And then I just have my extra plushies up there just watching over me. So yeah, I forgot to mention this, but I also do have my micro fridge right here and then my fan, which I barely use because this room is actually very cold. So, and now we move on to my favorite part of the room, which is my bed area. Obviously you can see this is like the best decorated area. Yeah, so here on the top, you can see I actually did end up taking off the mattress and it's up there right now. I originally did that so that I can let more lights through when I'm in bed, but then I realized I like it when it's darker and also it makes the lights more vibey, I guess. So I ended up taking my extra sheets and like putting it on top like this. It looks so ugly on the outside, but when you're in bed, it's like a lot more vibey with the star lights. So yeah, and then I just put my tapestry up there. I know it's like not even at all, but I just thought it was the best place to put it. So just ignore that, but yeah, you can see down here, this is my bed. You can see there's my little collage right here. I actually did end up ordering more prints so that I can like fill up all these gaps. So yeah, those prints haven't arrived yet, so that's why, but 
that's what it looks like for now my little polaroid wall i have my little star lights of course and then my neon cloud light so there's that down there just ignore that that's just a bunch of boxes that i keep just in case i sell stuff and i want to reuse the box and so yeah now we move on to the last part of my room which is all the closet slash storage so yeah these three are full of clothes like i i'm a huge like fashion person even though i kind of suck at fashion <laughs> i do love clothes so you can see all these drawers are filled with clothes and my shoes and then this cabinet right here i have a bunch of my k-pop stuff so like photo cards i need to store like my binder sleeves just random like you know sleeves and posters that i have these two storage cabinets are actually my pantry so i just have you know a bunch of food and these three are just you know clothes so there's that and then here i have these extra like shelves obviously these are meant for storage but since i have so much storage anyways i just use these to decorate the place so yeah you can see this is what this one looks like i just have my signed albums right there this cabinet is just for new releases that i buy while i'm in my dorm so i just put them all right here and then you can see this is how i set these two shelves up i actually really like how they're set up and you can see i have all my semicolon albums with the group one on top the mark l magazine and then this middle one just a bunch of like black and white aesthetic albums and then the last one is where i keep all my photo card binders so you can see i brought all of them and then this little um plushie that i got from mini so also it's so cute and it just fills up that space so yeah and then this last one obviously it's just more clothes and shoes and a vacuum and then this room comes with just like a random window i don't know what this is for you can't even open the blind it's just like stuck like this so I just keep all my dying air plants there <laughs> and then we just have my laundry hamper towel rack and a random stray kids poster and yeah that is basically the dorm tour hey guys it's me editing on my ipad i totally forgot to film an outro i thought i did but i guess i didn't so yeah that was basically the entire video i know this video was like kind of a mess and trust me like i'm aware I actually kind of hate, you know, the fact that it's like all over the place, but this was just a really long process and yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video anyways. So yeah, if you did, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe down below for more videos like this, and yeah, I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye guys, peace, love, happiness, I don't know.